Hi, Tori. Thank you for reaching out to our column. We enjoy reading stories about new and developing relationships and the struggles that they entail. Uh, Before we dive in, let me give you some frank advice. Go with your gut and conviction. By no means do I want to sway you in one way or another, but I do want to discuss some thoughts on the topic as a whole, um, especially as it pertains to your experience uh, with a guy that you've been interested in and the, the constant texting back and forth uh, being, you know, experiencing some evasiveness as it comes to meeting up and getting together. Um, specifically, at, you know, while you guys are working in the same organization, that also provides another uh, dynamic that, that is very challenging to work with sometimes. So as we dive in, I want to discuss, I want to spend some time discussing communication and its foundation within a relationship and the role that it plays. Uh, some nonverbal communication and respect and, and the role that that plays within relationships. And social media and how texting can really impact overall relationships and your ability to communicate effectively. So first, let's talk about what is communication and its role in relationships. In a book titled Bridges, Not Wall, Build Bridges, Not Walls by, uh, by John Stewart, uh, Mr. Stewart shares that communication is best viewed as a continuous, complex, uh, collaborative process of verbal and nonverbal meaning making. So uh, as that kind of goes, we need to understand that as you're discussing um, just your life with this gentleman, human identities play a large role in this. Um, interpersonal communication is the kind of quality or contact that happens when the people involved talk and listen in ways that maximize a presence of personal, which that personal uh, kind of encompasses five things. Uh, your unique perception, your unmeasurability, your responsiveness, your reflectiveness, and self-disclosure. If you're not able to have that uh, sort of personal touch within your relationship, it makes it very difficult to carry on any sort of intimate relationship with somebody. Uh, So topic number two I want to talk about is your nonverbal communication. Uh, In a book titled Respectful Relationships by Justin Healy, Mr. Healy communicates that relationships contribute to your growth, maturity, sense of self-confidence. Similarly, it makes you feel safe, trusted, comfortable, that you matter, and that you can be honest when you are in a relationship that is, um, that is healthy. So with the experience that you're currently having with this gentleman, um, I can tell that it seems like you don't want to seem like this crazy girl. Uh, so you have to know and understand that uh, that's a sign of just not being in a healthy relationship as it is. But that's just at, at a macro level. I, I do want to talk a little bit more in depth about that as we move on. Um, And the last topic I want to discuss with you is social media and texting. So let's first address, when it comes to social media and texting, uh, let's talk about expectations. It's often said that unset expectations go unmet. So as you and this gentleman are discussing your personal lives with one another and um, and sharing personal and intimate stories, um, it's, it's helpful to know that it could just be a mishap of or a miscommunication of expectations where you want to... Um, try and go through with the relationship, make something deeper out of it, or maybe even spend a little bit of one-on-one time in a personal relationship with this individual, uh, it's, it could be very much so that clear expectations haven't been set um, for your quote-unquote relationship. So um, I guess if I were to give you any sort of recommendations, first, when it comes to communication, try to understand that your identity is at stake. Um, and what I mean by that is you should be able to enter into a relationship with a, with a healthy identity, uh, knowing who you are, uh, who you've been made to be, and, and really just setting yourself up for success by not settling for less than what you desire to, to have. Second, um, you lose out on the ability to, to experience the nonverbal cues that come with communication through this method and medium of texting and social media. Um, you know, it seems as though through your, through your letter that you desire to, to be in relationship with this individual, you've connected with them on an emotional and intimate level. Um, and you very much desire to meet them and spend time with them one-on-one. Uh, but in order to do that, and in order to have a successful relationship, you have to be able to experience the nonverbal side of communication. Um, and and that can only be experienced in face-to-face interaction. So if I were to leave you with any, um, any conclusion or any sort of feedback. First, I would say, remember communication and its role in relationships. Uh, remember that nonverbal communication speaks volume uh, and, and respect uh, also speaks volume in the relationship. And the medium of texting is very, very difficult to build a foundational relationship off of. But more importantly, 
I want to make sure that um, you understand when it comes to behaving correctly in this in this regard, it may be helpful to set healthy expectations as you further along your relationship with this individual. Let him know um, that you do not want to continue in this relationship if you are going to continue to text. Let him know you want to have a face-to-face relationship um, where texting is just secondary, that you are able to sit down, go on some dates, have some one-on-one interaction. As humans, we we thrive on human interaction. We crave human interaction. We crave emotional connection. Um, so start by sharing that information with this individual. Um, and I look forward to hearing uh, hearing or or you know reading a letter from me in the future uh, about the success that you're going to experience in your relationship with these newfound with this newfound information. Have a good one, Tori.